Hey guys, Drew here for Z-Code Systems. It's great to have you back here because today we're going to be taking a look at some picks for the upcoming Champions League quarterfinal second leg matches, which take place on Tuesday, April the 12th and Wednesday, April the 13th. That's just coming up this week. So very exciting here with the Champions League. We had some great first leg matchups last week in the quarterfinals, and now we have the second matches of those series coming up this week. And uh, we had one big surprise uh, going on in the first leg. So we'll talk about that here coming up. We're going to take a look at the odds for the outright winners of the Champions League coming up. Um, some uh, changes, quite a few changes from the first legs uh, last week uh, have been made going into tomorrow and Wednesday's games. So a lot to uh, get to know as we go through this, uh, these picks and you get prepared for the upcoming games for the Champions League quarterfinals. And of course, you can always go over to Z-Code System and sign up today to get the latest picks and have the systems, the best systems on the internet at your fingertips for making great investments on sports betting. All right, guys, let's take a look real quickly at the odds for the outright winners of the, or the outright winner of the Champions League 2022. Okay, guys, so here are the updated odds. These are courtesy of Bet365, my favorite sports book. Of course, there are other sports books available. Now, Manchester City are still the favorites to win the competition. Um, their odds have uh, uh, improved a, a little bit since the last time out. They won in their first leg against Atletico Madrid 1-0 in a, uh, I would say, kind of a dull game uh, that went on. Now, Liverpool are second uh, in the sports uh, bookies odds with plus 187. And uh, they showed just why in the first leg against Benfica. And you can see there, Benfica have uh, dropped to having the longest odds of plus 100,000 to overcome a 3-1 deficit at Anfield to go on and win the Champions League. This is the weakest team still in the Champions League tournament uh, going into the second leg of the uh, quarterfinals. Bayern Munich plus 450. Now, they were shocked in the first legs or in the first leg, I should say, against Villarreal. Villarreal winning 1-0 at home and uh, setting up a very, very exciting tie uh, in the second leg. And uh, whoop, we got some reloading there. But as we see, uh, Bayern Munich are going to need to overcome this 1-0 deficit, which they very much can do. And we'll talk about more about that in just a minute when I give you the picks for the upcoming games. Real Madrid have moved into the fourth best odds at plus 600 after they defeated Chelsea uh, 3-1 at Stamford Bridge. It was a surprise for some. I didn't think so. So if you looked at our picks last week, I said Real Madrid were going to win that game, and I went against the soccer buddy prediction, and um, I told you Real Madrid were going to win that game, and they did. Um, Chelsea are um, uh, a bit hot and cold right now. A lot of things going on off the pitch uh, due to the uh, conflict in uh, in Ukraine right now. Um, Atletico Madrid are plus 3,300. Now, they did lose in that first leg, uh, but still, um, you know, decent enough odds to win the Champions League outright um, if they can overcome Manchester City and uh, win that second leg at home. Chelsea plus 4,000, Villarreal plus 4,000, and like I said before, Benfica plus 100,000 to go on and win the Champions League. Uh, I guess if you've got a dollar or two you want to put down there on Benfica, then that uh, could come out um, decently uh, if they were going if they were able to win the Champions League this season, but uh, it is highly unlikely that that will happen. All right, let's get on to our Soccer Buddy predictions and picks for these quarterfinal second leg matches. Okay, guys, so here are the games for uh, the 12th. That's Tuesday night, and we've got Real Madrid hosting Chelsea at the Santiago Bernabeu, and we have Bayern Munich hosting Villarreal at the Allianz Arena in Bayern, or excuse me, in Munich. And so we've got our picks there. We've got a scoreline prediction of Real Madrid 2-1 over Chelsea. I like that pick. Uh, Real Madrid, I said we're going to win in the first leg. They did 3-1. Kareem Benzema with a hat trick. And they. Uh, my prediction for the second leg is that they're going to win again. And I wouldn't be surprised. I'm going to go ahead and say ben, uh, Benzema will get a goal in this game. He has been fantastic for Real Madrid in the tournament so far in these last two Champions League matches. He has scored a hat trick. So I'm going Real Madrid to win this game, and I'm going to go with Benzema to score and over 2.5 goals. So those are my predictions for that game. Now, Villarreal, like I said before, they shocked Bayern Munich with a win at home. And now they go in with a one goal advantage. Now, keep in mind, Bayern Munich uh, 
in the last 16 first leg, they drew 1-1 with Red Bull Salzburg. And to be honest, they should have lost that game 1-0. Now, they came back in the second leg and won that game 7-1. I don't see this one-goal deficit being a problem. I think Villarreal are a good team. Uh, and they're going to make this a bit uh, a bit close. Uh, but I see Bayern Munich overturning this and winning this game, maybe 2-0 uh, in this game. I see them keeping a clean sheet against Villarreal and punching their ticket to the semifinals. And once they do, Bayern Munich will go on to play either Liverpool or Benfica. And of course, Chelsea will, or Chelsea or Real Madrid will play either Man City or Atletico Madrid in the semifinal. But back to this game here, Villarreal and Bayern Munich. I can't see any other winner than, than Bayern Munich in this game. And I don't think it'll be too difficult for them to overturn this goal difference and go on to win in regular time. So I'm going to go a little bit against this score prediction. I'm going to say it's going to be 2-0, possibly 3-0 to Bayern Munich, winning in regular time and going on to that semifinal. All right, let's take a look at the Wednesday games. And we're just going to click there and we're going to go to Wednesday. And we've got Man City and Atletico Madrid, Benfica and Liverpool. So Atletico Madrid hosting this game at the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium in Madrid. Now, going back to that game, the previous game in the first leg, Man City and Atletico Madrid, Atletico Madrid were poor in attack. They tallied zero goals. Sorry, they tallied zero shots, I should say. Zero shots and zero goals. Uh, zero shots, zero shots on target, 29% possession. Awful. This is a club who has spent a lot of money on good attacking players. And under Diego Simeone, they just continue to play unattractive defensive football. And um, I'm, I am I can't see Atletico Madrid getting a goal in this game if they play the same way that they did in that first leg. Man City are well ahead of, of Atletico Madrid. They don't, you know, Man City doesn't even necessarily have some of those attacking players at Atletico Madrid, the quality of those attacking players, but still Pep Guardiola gets everything he can out of those players. And I can't see anything else besides a Man City win. And I think it's going to be a win to nil for Manchester City. Uh, City are coming off of a 2-2 draw with Liverpool in the Premier League. Massive game yesterday. And uh, they're going to play Liverpool again uh, next Saturday in the FA Cup semifinals. Uh, I see them picking up a win here against Atletico Madrid, a win to nil. And I think Atletico are going to struggle once more. All right, and on to Liverpool hosting Benfica at Anfield. Can't see anything else besides a Liverpool win. Benfica were able to get on the score sheet last game. A bit of a fortunate goal. Uh, Ibrahima Kanate with a bit of a missed kick uh, in defense. The ball falling just kindly to Darwin Nunez, who scored to make that game in the end 3-1. As Liverpool got a goal near the end of the game uh, from Luis Diaz to give themselves a nice two-goal cushion. I can't see anything else besides a Liverpool win here. Liverpool have started very slowly in their last few games. Uh, they did against City over the weekend. Uh, they did against Benfica in this first leg. But I can't see them uh, not picking up a win. And to be honest, I think this could be a win to nil for Liverpool. I think Benfica will struggle extremely, extremely struggle uh, at Anfield uh, in a hostile environment. Now, keep in mind, Liverpool did lose to Inter Milan in the last 16 second leg, which was at Anfield, uh, it was a 1-0 uh, win for Inter Milan, but Liverpool did win the, the series on aggregate. Um, I don't think Benfica are going to get a goal here, and I see a win to nil for Liverpool, just as I do for Man City there on Wednesday night. All right, guys, so those are our picks here for the Champions League quarterfinal second legs, which are coming up on Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, go over to Zico's system, sign up today so you can get access to all of the tools that we use there, the Soccer Buddy tool, the uh, the VIP wall, the systems there that are available. And uh, we've got other sports coming up with um, other great sports playoffs coming up with the NHL and the NBA coming up and baseball season has started. So you've got all of those different systems and tools there to use to make your sports investments on those different sports leagues and sports. All right, guys, we'll see you soon here on Z Code System. Comment down below. Let us know what you think. Who's going to win the Champions League? Uh, like and subscribe and stay up to date on everything that we do here on Z Code System. We'll see you soon, guys. See you later.